Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And welcome to our uh, review, uh, I'm going to say non-spoiler review, of 65 with Adam Driver and Ariana Grablant? Greenblant? Grablant? 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 Something like that. Um, okay. Last year, we had a similar movie early in the year with Moonfall, which was ridiculous and fun and we loved it we loved it uh i feel much the same way with this really i had a lot of fun with this oh well yeah yeah but it's it's not moonfall it's it's not moonfall but i enjoyed it a lot more than i think a lot of other people are going to yeah so jurassic park on steroids yeah it's uh, it's intense. <laughs> yeah. It's only an hour and a half, and there is a reason. Because you are, like, everybody in the theater, it was a pretty small theater, but everybody was either climbing up their seats or... Hooping and hollering. Yep, yeah, yelling. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, it, it's intense for it, an hour and a half. <laughs> it is. Um, and, and there's not a ton of dialogue, either. That's another thing that I think a lot of people maybe are going to str- str- strangle with. Struggle. Struggle with uh, is that there's not a ton of dialogue, um, and the the dialogue is impactful, but there's just not a lot of it there. Yeah, it's it's show not tell storytelling, it's right? It's very much show not tell story. <laughs> and it's, I mean, I thought that was fine, and you actually get more of the actors acting um, because there's not a lot of talking going on. Yeah. Yeah, Adam Driver is Adam Driver. He's really, really good. And what is essentially an action role for him, a uh, sci-fi action role. Um, and Ariana is is really quite amazing. Yeah. Uh, considering she's like, I think she's 12 or 13 when they filmed this. Um, and so, like, her, she's, you feel what she's feeling I don't, it's scary, emotional, happy, w- sad, whatever. You feel it with her. And and that's not always easy for a younger actor. Yeah. And when we get younger actors, Sadie Sink, Millie Bobby Brown, those kind of people that really get it at a young age, um, they have a bright, bright future in front of them. <laughs> so the general concept, it's it's in the trailer, so I'm not sharing, I'm not, I'm not spoiling. spoiling anything. Um, or strangling, um, is there's other worlds in the universe that are more advanced than Earth, and they come to Earth um, and and crash land during the time of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago. 65 million years ago, and that timetable is very important. Um, But the idea... Of a sci-fi, futuristic, humanoid, traveling the galaxy group coming to a... Everything is trying to kill you or eat you or bite you or sting you or crawl in your mouth or whatever. Um, It's very interesting to watch that kind of process of them trying to deal with all of that. Yeah, and it's. I think it's an interesting concept just because... It's not Earthlings going to another planet, which is the first trailer we got. That's pretty much what what everybody thought was Earthlings had, you know, we had advanced and gone to another planet um, where they had crashed and there were monsters. And then by the second trailer, we're like, oh, (laughs) this is Earth. This is Earth. Yeah. These are not Earthlings. (laughs) And they start you off with Earth. Um, and, and, I, no, no, in the movie? they and, no. I, that's actually I was going to correct myself. Oh, okay. Um, it, they have a ten-minute intro before the title card, and then try to explain kind of what's going on with some, um, sh- some on-screen information, and just that opening ten minutes is a really awesome short film. Yeah. Um, and, and just that kind of, now what? Now what do we do? What now? What happens? And, and that really leads you into leaning forward. What is going on? Why is everything trying to kill us? And they kind of, it just, it, 
I really found this to be fun. Like, I would like, I'd like to see it again. I would see it again. I'd see it again. <laughs> and there's two things too that I think Ellie add this add to this movie a lot more than I think a lot of people are going to maybe say that the plot is very generic and all this other you know blah 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 blah, blah, blah of punditry. But the reason this movie works for me so well is that the monsters, the dinosaurs, the set design, all of that is on point. Sam Raimi. It, well, Sam Raimi's involved in it, so... <laughs> but but everything looks correct and looks real and looks lived in, and, it, and it's, it's a prehistoric version of Earth, and so it looks the part. It's amazing. And the sound design is so cool! <laughs> Uh, and and there's times where the sound design is more important than actually what you can see on the screen. Yes. Yeah. And that's I think that's really good. Yeah. Uh, score. Um. Eight. I was gonna give it a seven point seven five, but I think I'm an eight. And I think I'm an eight too. And like we said, Moonfall was a movie that no one liked last year, um, and we loved. And this is another one of those movies that's very different than what is out there in the world right now. And it's, I, I it's, it's, I liked it. It's a lot it's of. It's Jurassic Park on steroids. It's Jurassic Park on steroids and spaceships. And spaceships. Uh, so let us know what you thought of 65 in the comments down below. Please be nice. That's a requirement around here. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and follow us on all the social media stuff Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links are in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night now.